Da da dee, da da da, la da dee, da da da. I keep searching and searching until I shall find them. Passionate for God, good morning. They are somewhere around. The throne. They are somewhere around the throne. They are somewhere around the throne of God. I keep searching. Good morning, good morning, good morning, guys. I come in here, may I, may I share the, the, the page? Until I shall find them. They are somewhere around the throne hallelujah oh what a wonderful thing a very wonderful thing to be free from sin and of christ within to be made a joint here with jesus my lord what a wonderful wonderful thing good morning troy good morning ben childs good morning ben vin chin vinicio good morning from panama panama's in the house panama canal in the house panama city oh panama canal that's another <laughs> city that's about canal that's just a canal <laughs> good morning from connecticut Connecticut's in, in the, the house. house. Bridgeport's in, in the house. house. Hey, our heart, our new Hartford. Hartford, Hartford, Hartford. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Memphis in the house. Tennessee, Tennessee in the house. Hey, hey. baby, baby, come on, baby, baby, come on, baby. Come on. From North new Carolina. In the house. Woo. Brooklyn's in the house. Hey, baby, 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 come on, baby, baby, come on, baby, baby, come on. We have. Well. Panama City next to the canal. Good morning from North Carolina. Good morning. Good morning from North Carolina. Start. <laughs> I don't know that one. North Carolina, Charlotte. Oh, Charlotte's in the house. North Carolina is in the house. Hey. Baby, 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 come on. Baby, 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 come on. Baby, baby, come on. What's fine? Nashville, <laughs> Nashville, Tennessee. Yes. Nashville's in the house. Tennessee in the house. Hey, baby, baby, come so on. So why is me wanna dance? Why me wanna dance on the camera <laughs> dance? That's not fair. That's just not fair right now. All right, all right. Lisa in the house. <laughs> Fisher in the house. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Queen City. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's a beautiful morning, and we are, we are just. You know, I'm 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 just trying to love on God. Greenville, North Carolina. Good morning. Come on. I have to sing all of them. You have to sing all of them. Greenville's in the house. <laughs> North Carolina in the house. So far, North Carolina is winning. Maryland. Lisa said she's from Maryland. Thank you. Okay. So it's is it Beltsville? Is it um Greens Be Greensville? No, Beltsville. Greens Belt. Our Greensville, our Baltimore, yeah, all, all over, all over. It's a good morning. It's a great morning, guys. And we are just thanking the Father up above for giving us another day in the land of the living. Yes, yes, yes. Now we're getting to 
the place in time where we have to start to care ourselves now. I mean, if we weren't before, this realization, this moment in time, one moment in time, when I'm hurt that I thought I could be, when her. All right, all right, I can't bother with the singing. <laughs> Try, do you have a lot, uh, do you have a lot of titles? Oh, um, well, well. Well, put it this way, put it this way, um, put it this way, Troy. Troy says I have a lot of titles, you know, pastor, family man, cook, comedian, dancer, me have many jobs. Put it this way, Troy. I'm Jamaican. If you're Jamaican, and especially nowadays you only have one work, check if you're Jamaican. Because <laughs> Jamaicans be busy. We be busy. That's all I got to say about that. You understand? That's two for Maryland. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Try. Remember, the try is from okay. Maryland. Yes, Baltimore. Be more up there in Maryland. All right now. So, is there some reason why you're off camera, I'm guys? We have to work out this. I, I come in with the food. Mm -hmm. Come here. I'm sleepy. Come here. I'm Walk sleepy. over to me. Come. You ever watch a cartoon and see the smoke? I, when the food tastes good and the smoke are calling Daffy Duck and, and, and mm. you know, come on over. Come on over to my place. Oh, yeah. I'm sleepy. Come on over with me. Oh, yes. Come on over to my place. Uh. That's <laughs> <laughs> For real. <laughs> All right, guys, let's let's no bother with the foolishness. Um, we're going to be making um, a vegan dish this morning. John Doe, good morning to you, sir. Yay. This morning, we're going all the way live at vegan. Uh, trust me, uh, <laughs> please do, please do try, please do, and, and send me the link so that I can comment on it as well. Um, Way to go, my sister, the king called Karen. You know that me a friend, right? Karen, Karen, cool man. Karen, cool on, Karen, Karen, mama blush. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's get back to the food. All right, so we're making um, a chicken salad, and we're gonna make it into a sandwich. All right, and so. We wanted to, because let me tell you, every now and then you have to get to, uh, like, do a re, what do you call it? Reset. reset. Sometimes you have to do a reset, and I'm going to be doing that um, today. And so if you if you if you love vegan food, if you love vegetarian food, I have, I have a playlist of just vegan vegetarian food. And so, um, you know. Kimberly, good morning to you. Good morning. And so you can always check that out. Um, and so this morning is is, is going to be nice. Because guess what, guys? If we... Let me just tell you. All right? Speaking about the times. I don't know if you see the trend in the supermarkets and the stores. But not only is the shelves getting empty and emptier, but the cost of food is rising a little bit more. A little bit more. And so those things that we were comfortable just running into and getting, we have to start revamping how we buy and how we purchase now. I, I, I mean, I'm not here trying to, that's not the, the conversation I want to have this morning, but as it relates to food. So look at the trends, guys. Look at the trends because do you don't want to be caught like a, 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 a frog in a pot of water, you know. Or like the five foolish virgins. Are the five foolish virgins. You know, it's getting more expensive and the stuff that we generally used to buy are getting less and less. And so we have to be smart in what we buy now and how we buy. And we have to start introducing new foods to our palate. That's the next thing. Because mm -hmm. some stuff, some stuff are available, but because we don't eat that, <laughs> I'm going to like that. I've mean, never eat that before because that's most of our Jamaican thing. Never eat that before. Me not, oh, me not eat it. No, sir. That's so, like yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm saying it's a Jamaican thing. Um, okay. You mean sure work for you? Hey, I'm sorry for you. Because, you know, me, we eat grass, mango leaf. Yeah, grass. Whatever. Yeah, so just saying, you know, but this morning, 
we spent already 10 minutes without showing you guys the food so let's get to the food the food the food the food all right so this is my ingredients for my chicken salad all right okay so i got raisins or craisins it's cranberry and this is sour raisins and guys when you get things you just use them i saw the things it all right mm -hmm. i'm not really partial i have some cilantro i have a red onion i have um parsley i have celery i have some carrots let me see what's going on over here i have a bunch of kale i have some veganese or veganese which is vegan mayonnaise and i have young jackfruit now let me just point out this vegan mayonnaise vegan mayonnaise basically is oil and um apple cider vinegar and mustard and you know them type of things it's a it's a what you call it emulsi is emulsification jeez mm -hmm. i'm busy let me get the word yeah but they now have no eggs all right so this is better if you aren't if you want to be egg free and dairy free all right um i have some mustard that i'm gonna be adding it calls for for dijon mustard but me not the dijon all right so we're gonna work with what we have and there are some simple stuff in your in in your um yes yes um Kimberly is asking about canned jackfruit. The vegan mayo, I got this in Walmart. The vegan mayo, I got it in Walmart. And um, the canned jackfruit is available also, maybe in Walmart, but I got this. I remember, let me get this again. Nutrition Smart or Publix. So check your local supermarket. But this is young jackfruit. And had I had foresight the other day when I cut the, the real jackfruit, I should have saved those stringy parts. And then boil it down but i did not use my foresight so you can use if you have fresh jackfruit you can use it understand this that guys that the fresh jackfruit however you want to use the the stringy part the part that you won't you don't eat yeah that's the part on the real jackfruit flesh you want to use that um to make this all right so we are going to make this into an, a nice salad. It just involves cutting up some stuff, mixing some stuff. And jackfruit is very, very um, nutritious. Um, jackfruit is so nutritious for you guys. And, and give, give it some nutrition of the jackfruit. Yeah, please. Thank you. Uh, uh. Mm -hmm. um, cut coupons, catch sales. There are apps. That can save you money for shopping um anything else i'm in salvation army thrift store uh i'm a salvation army and thrift store warrior to quote my auntie champagne taste um beer money true it's true it's true um try you, you're smart you're smart as a matter of fact whenever we we in our local neighborhood whenever we are privy to people um to those organizations that are giving stuff out we go for it um there's no shame in our game. There's there's nothing to be ashamed of. What you need to do is make sure you have food in your house that you limit the amount of time that you have to go out. It's the bottom line is we, with all of these things that are happening, we are acting as though there is still not a pandemic going on, whether it's planned or not. It's still going on and, and people are still getting sick. And so just be wise in our disposition, in our deportment. Oh, um, Jatori. This morning, I make a vegan chicken salad sandwich. Our, our, our no chicken, our, our, our chickless. May I use some jackfruit. And may I make a, this, this is right up your alley, Jatori. Right up your alley. This is a good food. You understand? No flesh, no inite. And no milk from no animal, no inite. You see me? This is all natural. You see me? So that we are work on this morning. Trust me. Um, I do store pickup or have delivery for my grocery item. Good morning, good morning, Barrington Christian. Good morning, sir. Blessings, blessings, blessings. All right, babes, you have any information on the jackfruit so we can pass it on to our, our viewers? Control blood sugar. Control blood sugar. Protect against disease. Protect against disease. It, it boosts the immune system. It boosts the immune system. It prevents skin problems. It prevents skin problems. It 
um, promotes heart health. It promotes heart health. I mean, heart health. It ought to be healthy because it promotes heart health. It is packed with vitamins such as. Vitamins it pack with such a, as A, C, C, C riboflavin, riboflavin, magnesium, magnesium, potassium, potassium copper, copper, and magnesium. And magnesium, it nano gold and, and, and silver. <laughs> I mean, it's got it all. Yeah, jackfruit. And I, I mean, as I said, if you have the fresh jackfruit, then you pretty much need to just take out those stringy parts and cook it down. All right, boil the stringy part until it's tender and then you utilize it this way. Um, if you don't have fresh jackfruit, you can always use the young jackfruit, all right. And this is this is close enough, all right, guys. So we're working with jackfruit now. Let's get on to the procedure. You want to get on to the procedure, girl? Hmm? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! All right, so the procedure is simply I'm gonna pull this and I'm gonna pour it in some boiling water. I'm a, I have my pot up to boil and pretty much you just want to combine and combine in such a way that makes you makes it work in your neck of the woods Lisa said what Lisa said babes I do store pick up or have delivery oh. for my grocery oh I'm past that one day I'm done oh done. wow I didn't know about that but it's one of my favorite foods awesome sauce all right so kill Kale is one of those super greens that you can add. And I'm, I, it, the recipe you don't really call for kale, you know, but as I use, I try to keep myself healthy and keep myself fresh. Because, guys, even when you see me cooking the real food, like, you know, well, not, I, I mean, I don't mean real food. Like, when you see me cooking meat based um, foods, I still try to fix the camera for me, darling. I still try to, um, as much as possible, incorporate vegetables in my diet. Now, this the stem of the kale. If you see me, uh, well, I just cut this off the stem. The stem of the kale, you don't have to throw it away. You can save it for cooking, or you can use it in your juicer to make more juice. Right, babe? Mm -hmm. So don't you don't have to throw away these. These are good. All right. So what I'm gonna do with this is just I'm gonna wash the kale. It's not like me I say somebody named though Mikhail. I'm gonna wash my kale <laughs> and then I'm gonna cut it into very, very thin pieces. Now kale is kale can be eaten raw or it can be cooked or it can be juiced. Alright, today we're gonna have it raw. Mm hmm That's what we're asking what is onion doing in this? Onion normally go in any kind of salad. This is mimicking chicken salad, so onion, you know, is yeah, right. Onion so. Just like when you put it in your tuna salad or any other salads. Yeah. And red onion is important. A red onion has different um, ingredients than different nutrients than the regular onion. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I think red onion is more flavorful. Right, and, I, it might and a little bit more spicy. Too. Really? Yeah. Because mm. you know, a lot of stuff is hybrid stuff, you know? You don't have to put onion, you know. And that's the thing with Yardy Belly TV. You can turn your hand make fashion. So if onion is not something that you like, then use everything else. Substitute it with scallion. Right, oh. Right, oh. Babes, you can do me the favor and put the jackfruit. Do the cutting at the, the jack, open the jackfruit and pour it in the pot for me, darling. Show them how, the in, how it looks inside there. Just open it and drain it a little bit. Convenient opener at the top. So it looks like tuna. Oh la la. Oops, spill it. Alright, so I'm just going to pour off this. Try another bowl, yeah. And there you have your jackfruit. You can pour it out in it, baby. Pour it in that. 
I was gonna put it in the pot tomorrow. Yeah, but I wanted them to see the cross sections. Oh. You know, so they see that it's actually pieces of jackfruit. So that's this is what it is, guys. Pieces of jackfruit. And see, this is the part of the jackfruit that would normally be eaten once it grows to maturity. There's actually a piece of seed in there. But this part is the stringy part that we normally don't eat. But when you're making this food, when you're utilizing it this way, you can use everything because everything has been cooked. All right, so we're just going to take this and dump it in some boiling water. And it's, it's not going to cook for that long. We just want to get it up to temperature and get off, you know, all the processing aspects of it, you know. So, and you can, you can put a garlic in there if you want. Babes, put a, a, a piece of garlic in there. So we're just going to put a piece of garlic in there to mimic, you know, a little flavor from the chicken. Because we're mimicking flavors, yeah? All right, so I'm gonna just shred this a little bit more. And yes, as I said before about kale, kale is the new color look, so to speak. I mean, if you're in a in a location where you can get color look, you can season up the kale just as though you would season up your color look and cook it down just the same. You know, with your with your saltfish or you know fresh like that. You can make, make it into whatever, just the same like you do kalalu. If you want to do kale rice, like you make kalalu rice, you can do kale rice. You know? So, this is a very versatile and very potent um, ingredient because it also has a lot of, a lot of, um, what do you call it? Um, chlorophyll. Barrington Christian said, I like this kind of food. Barrington, me, me expect that you would have, of everybody else would have liked this food. Eh? The man said not like this kind of food. So I pay chicken and rice, Barrington, what? No, sir. A loser for you, Barrington. Can I get back the dish, darling? Thank you so much. The man said him no want this kind of food. Him want rice and chicken. All right, so my just dumping my kale, and I, as I said before, guys, I make I'm making mine a little bit more green than the recipe actually calls for because that's how I like it. And um, I have some carrots here. Sorry, sorry about that, guys. I have some carrots here. I'm just gonna. And sometimes when you're in the store and you see these carrots, you just buy them, you know? Because you know you, you might need them. And I, I don't have to cut them up, I just break them up with my hands. Pork and fish is my favorite. <laughs> Ear fry kale chips. Don't eat chicken. Oh. You don't eat chicken. You eat pork. Fire up on the pork. As a matter of fact, we, 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 no, not to, not to, to DBS, um, Barrington Christian, but we have long since stopped really um, cooking pork here in our home, you know, and um, as much as possible, we avoid eating it. The other day, the other day, um, I had a little piece of pork for the first in a quite some time. You remember, babes? Mm -hmm. Trust me. And so... Some things you just have to just make, make up your mind and say, no, I'm not going to have that. I'm not going to consume that. Some things you just have to just say, you know, it's off my list. I brought, I bought tin jackfruit and banana blossom yesterday. Great timing. Oh, awesome. 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 So I'm cutting up my celery stalks. And guys, please don't come for me with the knife um, skills. I'm just doing it. To get over that hump today. Alright. 
and you want to mince these if we, if we had our food processor um, handy right now we'd just do that but I don't no, no want to take down the food processor right now All right. so you want to cut your celery celery is a big part of chicken salad All right. it adds the flavor that celery gives to your chicken salad really is a lot a lot of flavor and celery is super duper good for you um, and celery has a little bit of sodium in it so with celery you can naturally control the amount of sodium in your body and it has become this big trend now to drink celery juice so and we're going all the way up to the celery leaves the more leaves the merrier and I have no problem eating vegan food, I must say. No problem. I love, I will have to try using kale more. I tried it before, but it didn't taste good to me. Trust me, trust me, Lisa. Do the kale just like you'd make callaloo. And you will be surprised at how good it tastes. Add your little salt fish, you know, and cook him down. And may I tell you, you will love it. And I'm just chopping up my celery, just trying to mince it. And we are making sure that we just make it as good as possible. What, babes? Babes? Oh, you, 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 you're not talk this morning. You're tired? So you want to lie down on the couch? Because remember, say, if you lie down on the couch, you're not far from the kitchen. Look, everything's near. You're not at house here. Everything near. You're not at house here. So you, you can go lie down, man. Me go on. Me go on work with the thing and, and talk with the people then. Uh, Barrington smoke and mirrors Barrington smoke and mirrors <laughs> smoke and mirrors all right the next thing I'm gonna cut up is my um, my onion and red onion is a classic classic um, chicken salad item And you only need about half of that red onion. All right, get it around and mince it. I know this, we are not, you know, we sort of slow in our disposition this morning, but bear with us guys, we are getting there. And if you have questions, you can always use this opportunity to ask the other belly questions. You know, if I can't answer or I won't answer, I'll tell you that I won't answer. But you can feel free to ask, engage me or the wifey in conversation, you know, um, about business. Because no, 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 talk to my wife about anything other than business. Because me, me, war, me, a bad man, me, war, you know, I don't want them to talk, talk, talk. See, you want them to engage you? Eh? You want anybody to engage you about business? That salad looks absolutely delicious already. Thank you so much, Lisa Fisher. Trust me, Lisa. This is something that if you get it right. Yeah. Yes, just strain him out for me and bring him come in a little container. And guys, my wife, the wife, you get up this morning and she did um some she did have a client, so she was up from early. So there with her and the lack of engagement our conversation is shan shan and lilies oh you go see what the word oh okay
Awesome sauce. And then I also have let um I also have um uh cilantro and parsley and I totally totally um love using these because it's good for your um immune system and also kidney function you know if you did not know you you can actually drink the water drink this boil it um and make it like a water make it like a tea make it cool and then just drink the water anytime you're thirsty and this will help with kidney functions that's what i've been told um for me personally i've tried it and my my testimony is that after my doctor told me that she sees that i have you know developing kidney issues i took this for a couple of weeks and when i went back and did my blood test she says everything came back out normal that's for me that's my personal story you know with this cilantro and parsley um brew so i cannot diagnose anybody any treatment because i'm not a medical professional so i'm just telling you my story good morning Lee. no camille smith brooklyn's in the house hey. new york's in the house oh yeah hey. baby baby come on baby baby come on kimberly said i don't eat pork <laughs> how do you store parsley and cilantro it's a challenge to store it without As it a going matter of bad fact, quickly i have a video up on my channel how to how i store it so if you want to jump on that video after this it would be really really how would you find it it's in my um it's in the playlist um vegan foods or taste buds playlist mm. okay so he has a hack and a trick that he shared with you guys so you can check that one out all right where are we now getting there getting there guys so back to the reasons now now try to make that cool a little bit the reasons is just pretty much dried cranberry and you want that little sweet kick so you take some dried cranberry and we like them in the box like this because you can snack on them and this this one is a little bit bitter it's not bitter sour it's um raisins that that's sour and so you just want to mince them up a little bit because you don't want to bite into one of them sour one them i tell you in the middle of your salad and everybody know raisin is, is dried grape so grape is good for you obviously you don't want to overly consume these because some of them have been soaked in sugar water you know some of the manufacturer they make them intentionally sweet So you just take your raisins and you add those. And you add those. I want to say good morning once again to all those who are on good morning good morning good morning um we want to say good morning this channel is all about you know doing the best we can to um promote a good a good uh lifestyle and just talk to them let me see if i can address Hmm. Yeah, you guys. So we're gonna be trying to address the situation. Just ignore what we can ignore while we do what we do. All right. So yeah. So this is the boiled jackfruit, super hot, and we're going to pretty much try to shred it out and um, kind of crush it so that it kind of becomes like a salad yeah 
You see, sometimes when you're trying to do something good, the enemy try to rear its ugly head, you know. So, definitely we will not allow any negativity to infiltrate this channel or this space or the people on this space. And so, therefore, yeah. Has a good tuna kind of color. For real. For real, for real, for real. It it mimics tuna perfectly. <laughs> I think we probably should have said um, tuna. Um, vegan tuna salad. Sandwich, but yeah. It, it kind of look chicken breastish too. For real, for real, for real. Yeah. right 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 so all right so where we are now guys we um we can't help the heart of people we can't help their disposition we can only thank god that he has made us with you know a positive outcome outlook and that's what we keep you we use to motivate ourselves you know so for those who have nothing else to do other than create anarchy and create mischief, we, we can we can only say God go we don't know. God go we don't know, you know. So blessings to you all. We are gonna continue as much as possible. Alright. It's it it bound to happen in a base. Mm -hmm. Because anything but sometimes when you buck up in a positivity, you don't know how to respond to it. So you respond with negativity. All so, right, okay. all right. Um, let me see where I'm at. Come swing back over there. All right, guys. So let's not get overly distracted by lewd and negative comments. All right. So we have some stuff here. The uh, jackfruit. You know, we we basically put it in the in the um, pot and we sort of boil it a little bit, and then I'm gonna just quickly. to get out as much as the liquid out of it as possible so you just take your jack don't watch me, me strainer guys the strainer no it's not dirty you just have a little oldness about it so please low my strainer come know some people i say lord look my yard belly strainer no just leave my strainer alone please well, in jesus name it's been through the runner and through the mill all right so we got this right here and we're gonna be just all right so you want to just you know squeeze out as much of the liquid out of it as possible while at the same time you're breaking it up into bite-sized morsels you have more jackfruit recipe here right? yeah i have a bunch of jackfruit recipe as a matter of fact this is what you use to make vegan oxtails Mm. So check out the vegan playlist, Lisa. You will find all of the vegan inspired dishes there, including all of the jackfruit ones. Serena has aged with grace through the years. <laughs> <laughs> through the years. My strainer, grace with age. It don't look really nice, but it served the purpose of which we want to use it. So all of this water would have been in the yeah so all of the water they would have been in it right so this is what you want to do guys remember the boiling process the, the canning process introduced a lot of water to the jackfruit and i'm actually crushing up the garlic that we boil it with as well so that's another thing and you don't want to cut this up with your knife because you want it the, the mimicking of the chicken is that chicken has that flaky vibe anyway mm, you know Coffee come in like a rapture. Hey. And everybody get captured. Whoa. It's a look like a little captor. When you see the lyrical. Coffee at the temperature. Stop dancing with the camera. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Coffee in the building. Where do you buy the jackfruit? We don't remember, but they sell it at Trader Joe's or Nutrition Smart. Yeah. Or and I think Publix has it too. I'm Trust pretty me. sure. Think they have it too. Whole Foods. Mm -hmm. If you have money like that. 
Mm-hmm. You can buy might, it as a Whole Foods. It might gone up through Corona. <laughs> All right, so this is good. Watch me. All right, so there you want to just add your your crushed jackfruit. I said it looked too nice. <laughs> it looked too nice, yes. So. All right, let me just wash my hands again. Look at that, you guys. And you know, this can probably be a salad topping. They could probably eat the, the tuna, uh -huh. the, the jackfruit in a salad. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. For real, for real. Yeah. For real, for real. All right, let me move these out of the way. We're not use stove today. It's a no cooking breakfast, and we're already 40 minutes in. You see, because we have to put time and have a conversation. But it's almost ready still. You can put the camera down because I'm going to need you to prepare the bread. If you want to toast it, I don't know who you want it, or you just want it um, regular like that. Regular, regular. Guys, right. this is the bread that we're using. It's by Nature's Own. Shout out to Nature's Own. It's the thick sliced multi-grain bread. And we get this at our local bakery outlet for cheap. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing I'm gonna add here, I'm gonna add some mayo. No, not mayo, mustard. And as I said, the, the recipe called for Dijon. But yeah. Me use on me have, so me do my thing. Turn me on and make fashion. All right. Then yeah, I'm gonna blessings prayer kid. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic powder. And again, guys, I'm a I'm a I'm a person who eyes the the um I I the the measurement. So then I'm gonna put some black pepper. All right. And then I'm going to also add a little bit of Old Bay. Why? Because we just love Old Bay around here. All right. So this is optional. All right. I think we should add some paprika. Mm -hmm. And cumin. And cayenne. All right. So let me grab those. Paprika and... Cayenne, cumin, and paprika. I'm looking for the... the Guys, the right do here. they usually toast the bread when they're making chicken sandwich? Or do it just... The soft bread. What do we do? Do we toast or not toast? I'm going to make that food soft fish patty. Yeah, that's that sounds good. Yeah, that's our thing. That's their cayenne. Jackfruit fritter supposed to nice. This is your cumin and of course your paprika. To toast or not to toast? That, that is, the is question. the question. All right, and I'm just incorporating this before I add my my meal, which the the real the the, the dish comes alive um, and comes together nicely with meal. Now, if you are a person who is against the meal, you know, like the meal argument. Okay, and uh, you could put a little butter on it. You know, well, no, no, have to. no you don't have to because me forget a vegan. Yeah. So, if you wanted this like so, you know, guys, this ready, you know, you could have this right, like this, you know, without any additional mayo or anything to it, you know, trust me. And it smells so good, don't you, babes? Mm -hmm. It smells so good. What I'm doing here is just making sure that the jackfruit pieces are well incorporated. I don't want any um, clumps of jackfruit, you know. And guys, as I said, you know, we have we have all types of persons out there in the world. And, you know, when the Bible says, let your light shine, it's really talking about that positiveness that is inside of you. It is talking about your character, you know, your your the, the godliness that you have. And unfortunately, because a lot of us hide our light, we, we are, you know, we don't get exposed to the darkness out there. Light can't shine in light. Light cancels out light. You have to go in a dark place for your light to, sh to, be, to be shunned. Um, what that means, we have to expose ourselves, unfortunately. You know, and so when, when somebody comes around and, and you sense that great darkness in them, because people, sh you know, uh, out of the abundance of the heart, the most speak. 
some people cannot help but spew negativity because that's all they've experienced, you know? And so when light finds themselves in dark places, the onus is on light to shine because only light can cancel out darkness. What it means is let your light shine before men, before people. Make them see who you are. And them can, them can beat you down, them can do whatever they want, but them can't cancel your light. <laughs> I promise you that, you know? So that's where we're at, at that, at that place in, in our time when darkness want to rise up. Can't make it rise up, guys. All right, so I'm adding my vegan mustard now. Um, mayo, why I keep missing up the things? Adding it now, and I'm, 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 I'm guessing and gauging as I go along. My wife don't like mayo, so she will not want me to add much more than that, but... It has to be creamy for the chicken salad aspect of it to come to. Mm, smell like meal, but no eggs, no dairy. Yeah. And this is what I like. It's getting really, really creamy. Really creamy. I like that. Where's the Vadele onion dressing, babes? <laughs> okay, no worry. Don't pressure it. Let me see if I can add a little. Oh, this needs to be in it. Put that in it. Help show them. Relish. Sweet relish. Sweet relish. Sweet relish. How much? Two squeeze? Two or three squeeze of the relish. Happy Hindi. And I'm adding a little bit of almond milk. Just a little bit of almond milk. To give me a little bit more pliability. pliability. <laughs> Oh, that look now. Want a little bit more meal. Mm -hmm. And I know most people when they're using meal, especially in potato salad, them go hard with the meal. You understand? You know how much cholesterol that and all these things that we're consuming? Oh, holy. So, for those reasons, we try to avoid the excessiveness of meal. Um, and I, I sometimes, you know, challenge myself to use stuff like a little bit of ranch dressing, you know, to avoid the excessiveness of meal. All right. And so there is my vegan mayonnaise. It actually tastes like mayonnaise. And that last thing I added was a little bit of ranch dressing and salt? I don't I don't want to put salt I want it to be salt free okay. until I, I until we taste it I didn't want to put salt until I tasted it um I'm gonna add a little bit of my Bridgen's pepper sauce that he makes chef coffee Chris coffee you can follow him on Instagram and this is homemade pepper sauce and call it that bad pepper sauce and there you have it guys look at that look at that again if i did not add the kale it would be less green you know but the, the kale is good I, I don't mind having kale when i'm going vegetarian i go hard all right see there look how that look good man it look good oh who like this anybody out there like this hmm? Thank you so much, Ben Charles. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. And then you just, for the presentation, you can just take some of your jackfruit chicken salad sandwich, um, chicken salad rather, and just have it in a little ramekin like this. Um, look at that. I'm scared. You're scared of what? You can take them, take them out, man. Look at that. Nice, man. Trust me. All right, let me get some stuff off the table so that we can do the final plating. All right. I'm cutting up tomato. You know, your sandwich have to have it. Little fixings. Yeah. You want a, you want a slice of onion, too? Yeah. 
So for me, so I like how the kale in there wouldn't have to put lettuce. I was gonna no. put spring mix, but no. We're well, over to the vegetable now. And this is tomato on the vine. It tastes different. To me, it the one on the vine tastes different from the one that, that is not sold on the vine. I think all of them come off come off a vine, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't know why this one is called the undivine tea is better than the off the vine. <laughs> this one divine. Want to the third one? Oh, oh are we gonna no, break them yeah, apart? Yeah, we're gonna okay. Alright, now look how we have to present this now. Uh, hey, toast bread tastes good, isn't it? I mean smell good. I'm trying to look an unusual way to present maybe. Should I present on this cutting Open board? Open face? Oh yeah. Smell like the cutting board idea. I love the smell of two things. I love the smell of coffee, even though I don't drink it. I drink it, but I'm not a coffee lover. Not a coffee drinker. Yeah, we don't even have coffee in the house, to be honest with you. But when we do have it, sometimes we just make it and drink it. We have nothing against it. Love how it tastes when you mix it with condensed milk or whatnot. But I'm in love with the smell of coffee. I'm in love with the coffee. <laughs> and I was telling my husband that I would just get up every morning and what do you call it now? Mm. Brew coffee in the house just for the smell of coffee in the house. Just for that. Just for the smell. Yeah. You know, say men in the Bible used to drink coffee. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why they named the, the book Hebrews. <laughs> <laughs> And guys, do you know? Do you guys know what was the first car in the Bible? <laughs> Anybody know what was the first car in the Bible? Tell me. <laughs> what was the first car in the Bible? <laughs> I saw. You really tell people them be there. I'm vegan, and I'm, I'm vegan, and you're giving me more recipes. Wow, awesome, Nicole. Awesome. Sauce. GCB Woods in the house. Good morning, everyone. Glad to see everyone in the number one. Hmm? More t oh, in the number one more time. <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. Coffee rind good for aromatherapy. Mm -hmm. Trust me. I don't drink coffee, but I like it. Corinthians. <laughs> Corinthian We need to know what's the name of the car A popular brand of car <laughs> Was in the Bible days You gonna give up? I miss one, one tomato Make them close I mean spray them out more I don't want to London in the house England's in the house Hey, baby, baby, come on Baby, baby, I can't say baby, baby, baby fast mm -hmm. For the car joke, I don't know <laughs> Been here for 10 seconds And already have an appetite <laughs> Russian <laughs> What? A horse <laughs> We didn't know The first car mentioned in the Bible Was on a course Was a Honda A Honda Honda Accord specifically, because the Bible says, and they traveled in one accord. They were all in one accord. <laughs> Come, give me another laughs. It's funny. <laughs> it's not really funny, you know? <laughs> I promise you that. <laughs> not funny. <laughs> they were in one accord. They were in one accord. <laughs> all right. Never say funny. They don't say funny. They, I promise you, nobody's there. Babe, the people them say the something funny. Why are you messing up the place? I know that them said something not funny. Nobody said it funny. Guys, don't 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 patronize her. Mm -hmm. Why the back where them always come to? I have to take the back ones. All right, so this is how perfectly toast. You guys know that I am the the bread the breast, bread whisperer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So. I'm the bread queen. Anything for the with flour, I'm the queen of it. So look how perfectly toasted my breads are. Mwah. That's mine. Some of them crispy. I'll take the crispy ones. 
Yeah, you guys can thank me later when you guys give your friends that joke. <laughs> They're not gonna. I promise you, nobody's gonna thank you. <laughs> thank me later. <laughs> Cause you have to make one though. That's how you do things. You make one sandwich and no. No, I'm, do I have to make one? I'm just saying it would be good to show the people a sandwich. I, I mean, we could make one for the mukbang vibe, you know. But mm -hmm. we don't have to, like, I want to present this, like, you okay. know. Okay. Ben Charles, you say I get jealous. <laughs> oh, this look. How we look, guys? I'm doing good. Let me know, please. Let me know. Take a bit. Beware of the carbs. Not enough carbs. Each bread only have 100 carbs. <laughs> yeah. 100, 100 carbs. Well, 100 calories. We don't know about the carbs. All right, let me see. If I'm trying to clean up my bed. Clean up. What he messed up. Starting his life over again. Would be better in a sandwich form. Okay. Who that? Does it matter? Ben Charles. So do a sandwich then. Please tell Miss Yardabella her joke telling privilege I've been suspended <laughs> for one week. Only you alone don't get it, Troy. Sorry. <laughs> it's I, true, Troy. I, I it's see true. a lot more LOLs than that one coming. Unless they're just being nice. But That's it. They're being nice <laughs> and they like you. They don't want to hurt your feelings. <laughs> Lisa said funny. Nicola said funny. Passionate for God say it funny. Ish. Passionate for God. That funny that sound like you. I miss it when it's a laugh. Kimbale is laughing. Puffy is laughing. Okay. So maybe it's a female thing. Because they don't want to hurt your feelings. <laughs> it's a female thing. We get it. We get it. We get it. They're trying like, you know what? Let's just laugh. Cause... What is it? What is it inside the chicken? Oh, let's see. It's not chicken, you know. It's actually um, jackfruit salad sandwich. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we were making a right, chicken sandwich, but it. it's not chicken. Let me see if I can take some pictures real quick. You can do side by side pictures of in the thumbnails. Yeah, one with a sandwich and one with a display. May I take some pictures right now? So I have something. Kimberly, like Lord, you're terribly. I wasn't laughing at the joke. <laughs> you could have at least. <laughs> you could have at least humor me, make me think say I had a joke. Kimberly. But it's all right. Kimberly said, I never did laugh at the stinking joke. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> I was not laughing after the joke. Yeah, yeah, I forgot to watch it over, Lisa, to see how it was made. Pretty easy. One can of young jackfruit is all it takes, and then... All it took? <laughs> yeah, all it took. All right, let me... I'm sorry. All right, so, <laughs> instead of pulling up my plate, let me just grab another bread. <laughs> GCB would say it's funny, and me's a man. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> saw... No, Baba. <laughs> I will share the joke and give you a reference. <laughs> 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 Lord of mercy. Karen B. The Father God of me speak against the evil that was raised its head in Yardi Belly, who have chosen this channel to glorify you. We pray for peace and continue. To continue to be upon Yardy. Amen. Thank you, Karen B. <clears throat> and trust me, it's a constant prayer we have to um, be doing because yeah. it's going to happen. This is not just a one-time thing. Anywhere there is positivity and greatness, negativity and evil will rear its ugly head. So, not surprised. You know, you're going doing something when you see opposition if everybody like what you're doing something, something wrong, wrong. <laughs> yeah 
something wrong. Guys, me can explain how good this is, you know. He has Instagram and Facebook as well. Yardy Belly TV on both. Yeah. Me cannot explain how good this actually tastes. It, it tastes so good. And if you notice, I did not add any extra salt. Mm -hmm. It is just perfect. Tell me something, guys. What me can add on the plate? What else can I add on this plate to make this, this sandwich look good? You, you, you ought to like make the whole sandwich with the that and the tomato and put some curly lettuce to like come out of the edge and then where's the curly lettuce okay hold on i should have put the curly lettuce down first and then put it on top of the curly lettuce you're not helping not me to wait, not to worry no, no fear no worries I do it wrong now, I know I know I do it wrong, I know I feel it in my bones. Wow. So I'm going to put it, I do it wrong. It tastes so good. I cannot, I just can't. Alright, so we have a little bit of, um. We need a restaurant. Things. You know? That. We need a restaurant, that's it. And, no, I was gonna put it on this side of the bread. Oh, you're not gonna close it and cut it? When when we're done, but we don't want to take a picture. Okay. So I repeat it. I keep joking. I'm trying, I'm trying guys. So you don't need much, you just need... No, that's good. And then, tomato. I want to know how you're going to flip it after you do I don't know. I'm just going to... You're not either. I'm going to trust God. Trust and obey. Put my stomach on the plate. That's all you need to do. <laughs> Boy. Grab your camera, baby. Find me a parent conflict. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't pay too much attention, you know. Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> but now I pay too much attention. <laughs> what do you think about Khan after I hear the joke? <laughs> Call me a parent. <laughs> Call me a fritters. Uh, Call me a dog. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to take. Oh, you took that already? Yeah. All right, there. Look. Look how it look on camera. Isn't this one? Like, try. Isn't this for the yard of belly? Wait, name? Museum? Food museum? <laughs> Should I have some chips to go with? Yeah, the, oh, how come? Try not to tell me the price. You know, babe? Should I have some? Oh, you know me, I have to go with it. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah. Nice. Nice. So nice. So nice. It looks really delicious. Where you purchase your sea moss? <clears throat> he makes the sea moss gel and actually sell them Lisa add my portion this is some vegetable chips mm. just uh, add some lovely vegetable chips to the that's lovely 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 how that look that looks divine so there we have it guys a divine and delectable a very delectable um vegan sandwich for breakfast today for brunch mm -hmm. and all you need is is a good um tall glass of juice 
mm. go with that now. And some mango juice or something. Yeah, some good juice. You understand? We'll go with it. <laughs> mango juice. And you're good to go? You're really good to go? You understand? Add sliced carrot chips on the side for a pop of color. We don't have no, yeah, we don't have no carrot chips. No, carrots. Just carrots. In, 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 just cut the carrots into slice and put them on the side. That's what he was saying. She. She, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm mean, just going to put, on, put this in the ramekin so it can be stored. Now you see how much come out of one can, right? You see it? One um, can. And guys, may I tell you, we have got to taste this, we cannot see. We cannot mm. really see. Because my wife, my wife is honest in her expressions. And Joshua, you know? Mm -hmm. You tell him to Joshua work? Mm -mm. Oh yeah, Joshua is, is missing in action because he's actually a responsible adult right now. He's employed for the summer, actually doing graphic design. So, yeah, that's what's up. $12.50 with chips and drinks. Okay. <laughs> can do that. Can do that. I'm and telling this, you. This can make a good for sandwich. Try. Miss, I'm ready for the restaurant now. When I look on all these things that I make, and, and just making them out of my head, and, you know, generally just being knowledgeable of what going around me, I'm ready for the, 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 the restaurant. I'm telling you. Look the babes. Mm -hmm. So grab a bread now, babes. Grab a bread. I'm going to grab the bread back. Here. Time to taste. Take a heaping spoon of the salad. And all these things. You, you need your recipe book as well. It's true, it's true, it's true. The amount of times I've heard that I need a recipe book, I cannot, cannot no longer deny it. How it is, boo? Really? Nice. That is like real, something like something real. You know what it feels to eat guilt free? No guilt, no guilt. Make some sugar water to go with it. I'm me to tell you. I'm me to tell you. Bread. Bread you don't show the end of the bread. <laughs> Guys, we're gone. Tell me, gone. We're leaving. The crunch dough, right? Mm -hmm. You have to add that crunch element. That little piece of chips, beetroot chips that you put in it, shell it down. Shiver down. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Ship to Nebraska. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, it's been over an hour for a non cooked meal. Why is it so, you know, so much time? Anyway, but it was a good time. We thank you guys for logging on. Thank you for spending the time with us. Please share. Yeah, you can share the video. You guys, there are so many people out there who want. You know tasty vegan options so it would be awesome for you to just hit the share button share it to your facebook or your twitter or wherever whatever social media you have and rem remember to like the video because liking the video does help to optimize the channel and, and you also will things. get more suggestion suggested videos from me when you like the video that that you watch mm -hmm. So once you like it, YouTube says, oh, they like this guy. 
and they'll send more of my videos to you. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you guys, thank you guys. Walk good and remember to live and laugh. Cook and eat. Positivity. We love you guys. Look out for more videos. And 4th of July, happy 4th of July. If we're not celebrate them thing there. If we're not, God is good. All right? Blessings again. Yeah, man, we're going good. Oh, food trucks. Then you expand and get more trucks. Focus on getting contract with the business park where people have a limited time for lunch. I'm, I'm ready for it. Anybody have a truck that they don't want? Dana, you missed it. Dana, man. Ah, Louis, you missed it. And Dana, it was so good. Show Dana the picture one more time. Because Dana missed it. All right, one more time for the people. One more talk. time. All right, so this is our jackfruit salad sandwich. It's open because we wanted to see all of the deliciousness in there. And this is another presentation option. We have our toasted bread on the side and our jackfruit salad tomato and red onions yeah and this is the leftovers yes 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 vegan we say and guys once you put this down in your refrigerator for you know um, uh, you know an hour maybe 24 hours you'll be surprised to know how the flavors blend and mellow out and gel together and it start tastes better and better all right it lasts it will last maybe up to uh four days in your refrigerator but you don't want it to stay much longer than that because the vegetables will start to break down um enzymes mm -hmm, mm -hmm. lisa i'm totally with you girl i'm totally with you on that one it's just another day yeah just another day blessings to you all thank you so much for watching yardy belly tv today yeah guys replay it if you haven't watched it from the beginning and we will see you on the next one bye